How's it going guys? Welcome back. This is just a short quick update to let you know. I've only just unwrapped my um, 3D printer. Now you know I have it a good week and a half, nearly coming on to two weeks and I've just only taken it all out of the packing now. Um, I took the cling film off, I've put the rubber seal around the edge of the um, UV box. I have its little LEGO stick there for uploading and downloading the files onto you. There is the build plate. I just peeled off the clear plastic that was on it. So um, that's what it's supposed to stick to in any way as far as I know. I don't know if you wash these first after you take the plastic off or do you just put it straight on. Now I've watched a few videos of it being built and set up. I have the power source going into the back and then down underneath my desk. My desk I built it yesterday but it's a bit messy right now just because I have everything just thrown all over the place. You just know how, how many kits I've been getting in the last few weeks. But there's my brand new desk as you can see. They're all the normal paints. They're all the um, LP, the, the lacquer paints, like the new lacquer paints in there and then all the other stuff and dressing up the thing. So they're covered by the um, Tipex pens and the uh, spray cans that I have as well. So because I got a couple of spray cans as well. And the paint I got off. Yeah, buddy shame is there the brownie gold colour. I'm actually gonna test that soon and the wash and everything else. That's um, just everything there, but I've loads of stuff in here too, as you can see. But there's all that box is full of the kits that I'm giving away to the guys that I, I promised that I'd send something to. So, um, yeah, that box is full of them. No, actually, the button box, yeah, it's the button box, it's full of them. But, uh, and it's a big box. Do you know what I mean? So, like, they're all going out. So, I have a lot of posts to send out. I have a package there to go out. So, it's taped up. Uh, package down there. There's a package in my drawer. That is actually for um, Ernest, my buddy Ernest. He actually done me for a favor. He, he actually 3D printed a, a boom for me because I was building the DIY record thing. And then. Um, he posted it to me but it never got here so either the more likely it was the US because when Ireland get post they actually they do get it here to you, even if it's late but it's it's well overdue he even like he said he sent it about roughly around a month ago now so and he does he, he always he sends them everything on time he's always sent everything on time like and, and it's gotten here straight away but I didn't even know he was after sending this till he told me, like, you know, so. I thought he was actually still in the process of building the rest of it, because he, he actually scratch built this for me, you know what I mean? But yeah, so thanks and shout out to um, Ernest from Spunky's Models. Um, this is me, Elegant. This is me, Elegant. Stop. This is me, Elegant 3D printer, yeah. Just a quick unboxing that well I didn't unbox it but just to show you so I'm only starting to put it together now that's why you haven't seen that on here. Have the resin, have all that there. I have files to download. Shut up. Every time I'm trying to make a video they're constantly barking. So yeah, I have everything here that I need to start printing. They give you Tesla STLs built into the stick. So I will do the rooks and things like that um, I'm on that that um, 3d printing so I have set up profile on it for building on my mini world or something something like that's called um, I know I should um, these are delicate pieces I should be doing this all with, with two hands sorry let's I'll just put that down there expensive piece of equipment like you know I'm just manhandling the thing but 
that needs to be stuck on a proper rubber. Just, that's, a, that's not one of the real mats. That blue one there, that's not one of them big ones that I have. That's one of the plastic cheap ones off eBay. That I was using one till I am. Um, I got a few of them actually when I only got them. Or four of them or something. But then um, I thought we put it there and on top of this all locker. Because that's going to be sort of the glass cabinets in the middle from away to two windows because this is supposed to be um, so good that you can't even smell the fumes or the illegumers because it has its own uh, suction thing its own fan type yoke I have to focus the camera yeah so um, just setting it up now so I'll let you know how I get on around see how my force print comes out with it I know I have to put the build plate on and then plug it in and raise up the uh, arm then pour in the thing so I have the rubber gloves you say don't get let that get on you I have a mask just clear instructions not to let any of that get on you because of bones and the fumes are toxic so the window is just to the left of it over this way up the top the suction fan, the filter fan that clears it is in, in, inside it in the back in the right hand corner so we'll see how it works anyway but my um, paint bill will be going up on top of that when I clear all that off see everything is just thrown everywhere because I'm still in the middle of setting up the whole lot of the room so there's a lot of kids up there and up to the ceiling off the top of that and they're all the ones that are in the, the locker, this locker here. Gonna have a few over here as well. So there's a lot of stuff. I'm waiting on the, um, the new Saber C9 Mercedes kit that was built. The reissue, the new version of the Tamiya kit. Got to Ireland three days ago. So I'm expecting that to be delivered today, hopefully. So um, it's the C9 Saber. I think it's a GT1 car. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, lads. This is just a quick update to let you know what I've um, that I'm getting this up and running as soon as you know how much I need to get this going. <laughs> I've never used one in my life, but they, they look same straightforward for all the videos I've been watching on this one, this exact one. So, they say it's easy for a person to use for a learner. a good and easy printer so let's hope it does this little thing actually I'm taking this out here because it's not on it on the back and I know this has to be level I know that has to be pure level so now that it's all on the same surface to be level so yeah thanks for watching lads sorry for um shaky all over the place video try this again soon peace out Bye.